Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Graves Jungle with Fleet, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Grasse, Nimbus with Absolute, Attack Speed, AD, and Armor. Graves is in an incredibly strong spot right now, even with Lifestyle item nerfs. Graves had alternate items to build already, such as Eclipse and Penetration Style items, which is why this game, we're gonna be rushing Eclipse, into Collector, into Searle does. With this Korean build, you'll be doing pretty much true damage throughout the game by going for two early lethality items. You'll be cutting through their base armor, essentially doing true damage. And then by the time they do have armor, that's when we'll have Searle does for its 30% cut and for its slow on our abilities. So there's really no escape from this damage output. This is a bit, little bit more of a glass cannon style build. The tankiness mainly comes from the Eclipse's shield. Plus, Eclipse gives us some penetration on all of our completed items afterwards. We're going to start bot side for better leash. I also want a path into Master Yi. There's not a single jungler who can beat Graves once Graves is level 3 with double buffs, as long as Graves kites it properly. The only thing that counters Graves is really strong team fight style champions. And team fights, Graves doesn't do the best unless he has a significant item lead or XP lead. Something to think about. The key to Graves is keeping your grid up. Every single monster in the game, minion and turret, does uh, physical damage except for Gromp. So keeping your grid up is a huge deal. You get bonus armor from it. It's a big, big deal. Every time you use your E, you get a new stack. And whenever you take or do damage to monsters, you maintain it. So when you're crossing over, that's when you have to make sure you, the big one's still healthy enough, like this. Looks like one more auto will kill him because of the burn. Now we still have, we're at seven stacks. I'm gonna go ahead and get a point in my W just in case we get invaded. You can run double point in Q and that works. If you get invaded, having your W is really nice for the blind and the slow that provides. Trying to spread my autos on multiple monsters at once. That way we can uh, apply our jungle item burn to them all at once. You can look to do a full clear on Graves. If you get W level 3, you don't have to. You can just do a 5 camp into gank. Graves full clear is usually going to be around 320, 325. If you don't do a full clear, you can actually get to where you're trying to go on time. Still have 8 grit if we were to walk into Yi at this point. That he can't fight us. We have 8 grit. He has no business doing this. We're going to kite away from uh, the Master Yi here. Timo's coming. Like I said, I have 8 grit though. And action should be able to clean up here. Even with Master Yi's absurdly high damage and true damage with our grit, we were easily winning that fight. The enemies fought us 3v2. Akali did not rotate. She decided it would be best if she didn't leave lane because if she were to miss a minion or two, that would just lose her the lane. So it is what it is. <laughs> we're still in a really good spot. Teemo getting early gold. I don't care. Malzahar getting early gold. Don't really care. I'm just worried about how much gold we can get because we can easily snowball off of that. We'll look for bot scuttle invade or bot scuttle into mid top scuttle. Graves can take them very fast, pulling off the shield with just a single auto attack. Yeah, we can't finish him, but we have him very low. This Lulu's out of her mind. And with Fleet, we can walk her down, finish it off, and take this guy's Krugs. Graves is a very dangerous target to try to collapse on because of what you saw right there. It is no, you do not simply run down Graves. You can go over walls and all that fun stuff. They got Kogma Flash. We'll go ahead and push this cross through mid. Might be able to kill Lulu on her way back to lane, we'll see. I have no clue why the, those Krugs are walking that way. Got them pretty low. Now I'll pull off. Looks like Master Yi's on his wraps. He missed out on his Krugs. I could take Dragon here. I have the items to do so. Malzahar doesn't have R. Yeah, 
This guy's in a bad spot. Swain almost had him there too. Malzahar, no flash. I can come up behind them. We're not getting many camps right now just because there's so much action happening. If you're confident, it's going to be a kill. Oh, why are you guys even over here? It's so annoying. Master he keeps getting in my way. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I guess we can take Dragon. It's doable since we have grit for the armor. Mastery's also low. Their bot lane's low. Mastery says he's taking notes. That's funny. We had another smite. My auto attacks are doing like 150. Nice. Uh, this isn't going to work. I have to leave. I'm too low. I, I can appreciate Swain's aggression. It's just not going to work. Vex is too low. The wave was underneath turret. I'm too low on health. It was forced. Dragon got me very, very low. We'll play Drag Soul win con against their team. The Lulu Kogma will be difficult to deal with. I don't think they have anyone to match me in a split push until Master uses Giga Fed. Ideally, we won't have to split. We'll just try to get all the objectives. Nice job, Botlin got a kill. We don't really use W to clear camps on Graves. It doesn't do much damage. It's also a very long cooldown. Mastery was just bot side. We'll try to push into his top side here. We have five grit. Still have five. We're gonna do our best to maintain that. His blue buff's gonna be up soon. It's a gray. That means it's a minute or less. It'll be up same time. I read is just about. Should be able to get around this if I hug the wall. Oh, found Teemo. It's always fun walking into a Teemo like that. I have smite for it. They can't stop me. I have my R. Malzahar is going to be rotating. Kali's going to get herself killed there. Unless she can kill him quickly. Because she's going to get rotated on. I'm not going to stay to help her. She's behind Teemo's fed. And they have mid prio at the moment. Master, you may try to invade me here. I got to hurry. We have triple grit at least. He may be on Herald. I don't know. We'll reset when we can afford our full Eclipse. That'd be a really good time. Teemo's low. We could go kill him right now. That's a good option. Akali's going to scare him away with her TP. Yeah, he's going to be... I'd be scared if I were him. We have five grit. Six grit. Can always hop over this wall with our R if we need to make a quick getaway. Now we're at a whopping seven grit, and it gets higher per level in terms of how much each grit gives you. All right, now we're getting 28 bonus armor. It's like two cloth armors. It's a big old deal when it comes to fighting physical damage style champions. All right, we can actually afford Eclipse. I wouldn't mind backing. Wow, Malzahar didn't turn on that. I have Flash. I don't know where Lulu is. I'm not gonna walk into the bush. I don't wanna get preyed on in melee. Hold on to Red Smite if I can. Very useful to have. Kogma, no boots. I have tier ones. We should be able to outrun him. Never mind. Got him with the R. Master, you died as well. That's huge for our team. We're going to want to get an early turret with our Herald. We'll lay that here in a second. Oof, I kind of stole that whole wave. 
really want to get this turret. We needed to get more damage on it before we laid it. The lay was a little premature. Harold only scrapes two plates in a sliver. Two plates like in a fifth. First turret gold. I'm gonna back so we can drag fight properly. I can get Eclipse for our boots. Their team is very magic damage heavy with the Kogma, Lulu, Teemo. So, I don't know. Could go Merc Treads. It's a tough call. They have a lot of mixed damage. They have a lot of true damage on Yi. Teemo's mostly magic damage. Malzar, magic damage. Kogma. Uh, it's kind of 50 50. Lulu's mostly magic damage, so. Depends on how fed Kogma is. Once he's really fed, it's mostly magic. Let's see how much grit we can build up before we're going for dragon fight. <laughs> our mid laner's dead. We don't really want to rush it this second. Unless their bot lanes are recalling at this exact moment. And we lost the grit, feels bad. We would have had to hit that plant to keep it up or have our E ready to use. As long as we keep getting all the objectives, we should be able to win. The only way you lose on grades is if you're only playing for kills. If you're playing in like you play in Eve, you'll lose since you can't build mesh on graves very well. The only AP scaling is his W. We should have a pink wood on our opposite side jungle. It would make this a lot uh, more effective. Mastery was invading our top side. When they know I'm in his bot side, then I would be building up much of a lead on him. I don't think he is invading though, so. At the very least, we're putting him in a position where he has to be proactive as well to not fall behind. And if he is proactive, then we'll trade off camps. Meanwhile, we're getting more objectives, so. Even if we're trading camps, it Still decent for us. Starting to pull ahead a bit. My bot lane has more CS. My mid lane has a little more CS. My top lane way behind in CS and kills. So top lane is the only weak lane at the moment. My team is very magic damage heavy. My red buffs up in 13. Auction got that. Nice. Next objective would be Herald in two minutes. We'll play around that. Objectives to win. I don't want to force anything on Teemo. He can be tricky to dive. You don't know where his mushrooms are. You don't want to step on one of those. Even if you have Sweeper on, if you step on it, it'll hurt you. They got the kill, just barely action, nearly died. He still might if he steps on a mushroom. Walked over a control where he didn't break it. Oh, Mastery's not full item yet. I'll take his Gromp. His clear's been getting messed up. People have been taking his camps, including myself. I have teammates. Oh, I thought he was taking my camp. There he didn't. Mastery, he's looking for the random invade. <laughs> Maybe he thought I took his blue bow. I don't know. It was a really random invid. Got him with the R. Good CC by Vex, holding him still. Pop R refills, not walk into a specific bush just in case we don't want to give him extra autos for free. The worst thing you can do is if you think a melee jungler might be in a bush, don't walk directly into it giving them multiple free attacks rather than them having to walk out and actually reveal themselves so you'll be on equal footing for the first auto. That being said, he probably couldn't kill me with his items right now. He's pretty far behind in gold. Oh, hey you. 
God is flash. He's scared. Swain's tanking like a champ. He's so tanky. Wow, Swain's so cracked. He's on me! Triple, baby. Clips balanced. That ought to be an FF right there. If they don't FF, it's just because they think the Lulu Cog can carry late game. That would be the only reason. Collector into Surlds now. You could still take Dark Harvest. The thing about Dark Harvest is... It's just not quite worth it. it. It would be okay on you. However, you can't tank and kite as well because you're missing that movement speed bonus. 20% for one second is quite nice. Since Graves has to get close up, it helps you dodge more skill shots. And the healing is pretty cool for staying alive as well. Also helps you to get between your camps faster. Dark Harvest doesn't help you against your camps at all. Dark Harvest only works against champions who are very low on health. Fleet's always helping you out. Champions, monsters, minions. All that fun stuff. Hop over for Harold here. We have our R to get out and flash. Even if they're in here and I had to retreat it, we would be able to. If I didn't have flash or R, I would have taken the plant in. That way I would have an escape route. We don't need to take dragon right now. I'd rather take Harold so they can't get it. A lot of times when you go for dragon, the enemy team will push for Harold. Holy crap, I almost just died. I was getting chunked by Teemo and Yi, and Teemo's really strong right now. That's a triple nipple, baby. Kog'Maw and Lulu would know where to be seen. Possibly AFK. Oh, nope, they're not. They just laid a ward. It's dragon time. That was so much damage. We did a really long range flash over the wall. We almost failed flash because we were in such a hurry. One more Yi auto and we were toasted and roasted. He has Lethal Temple fully stacked and was whipping us with his true damage E uh, active. I didn't even get to pick up the Herald. What a scam. And they quit. <laughs> oh, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's take a look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we were not the highest in the game. We were spending a lot of time counter jungling. We were definitely towards the top of the pack. Double the damage of any of these guys and higher than most of my team. We were the third highest damage in the game. The longer I went, the more damage we would have done. We took the most damage in the game. Probably self-mitigated a lot too. Self, yeah, self-mitigated most. For runes, got really good value out of everything. I really like this build. I highly recommend it. You don't need to be going shield boat anymore in Graze and you don't really need dark cars at this point. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.